In this video, we're going to do an occlusal restoration. Now that we've completed the marginal ridge, we'll restore the occlusal aspect. We'll restore two cusps simultaneously in order to reduce the C factor. Once we place the composite, we adapt it following the inclined plane of the cusp we are restoring. In this case, we are using a flat plastic instrument. The instrument is pressing and sliding to obtain a smooth surface. With the side of the instrument, press on the Barkle Accessory Fissure. This will remove the composite on what is left of the fissure, and also scrub excess composite from the margin. Now we repeat the same on the other cusp. Now we're ready to cure it. Now we continue with the opposite cusp. Remember to always remove the excess from the margins before you cure the composite.
Now we're doing what's left of the lingual cusps. Now we're doing what's left of the inclined planes of the barkal cusps. See how the tip of the instrument is resting on the inclined plane of what we restored previously. This will create a very accurate central fissure. When you think you're done, you need to check all of the margins for any areas that may be deficient in composite. Uh-oh, here we found a margin that's deficient. Here I've just scooped a little bit more composite onto the flat plastic and we'll add a bit more composite. That margin is now no longer deficient. It's important that you find this before you polish the composite. Otherwise you'll have to add bond because polishing removes the inhibited layer. Now we're going to check the restoration for anatomy and proper margins. So now we're going to check with the probe what we're going to recontour and polish, and we'll do that in the next video.